okay so the question that we're gonna be doing is power x to the power n and all you need to do is you need to create a power function which calculates the element to the power raised to the power n so by that i mean that you are given an element and you're given a specific power and and all you need to do is do the element to the power n or like if we do the case uh, 3 to the power 7 so you need to calculate this and like one way you can go about is like you can just simply do this 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 n times and there is like this case that the element is actually given in the double form so you need to calculate this in the double form so this could be 3 to the 3.1 to the power 7 and etc so one approach is like 3.1 into 3.1 seven times and you will get the resultant and this approach is going to take big o n time complexity and where n denotes the power so we can actually optimize this solution and uh, and let's see how we can actually do that so what we can do is uh, if we look at it this power is actually we are calculating it multiple times so 3.1 3.1 3.1 uh, and so on and what we can actually do is we can store the resultant of uh, like let's say half of it and uh, use it later on for calculating because we have already pre-calculated the half so we can actually use the result again and just simply multiply that and we can break this down into two parts again and we can store the result of it and use it later on for calculating this and that's how we are going to do that so like let's say this is the resultant so using recursion we have broken this down into again two parts breaking this down into two parts and so in the recursion what we were doing is like you have calculated the resultant of this so you can just give it back and store it somewhere and you can use this later on calculating the rest of the result and you don't need to actually calculate this part because you have already pre-calculated this and you can use this so the complexity of it has actually decreased and as you can see you have already like calculated this part so you can just simply use this part as your result and you don't even need to calculate this portion of it so that's how we have actually like we have actually reduced this problem into logarithmic time which is actually like log of n is actually the height of uh, this recursion and previous, previously like it was you were calculating all of it again and again and now you have like reduced this problem to logarithmic time so let's see how we are actually doing that so the first thing I've said that we are storing the result somewhere so let's say this is your recursive function we are storing this in this called temp and uh, we are calling this power function we are passing the element and as I was saying that you don't need to actually calculate the rest of the half so we are simply reducing this down into n divided by 2 and uh, now we have let's say the recursion has done its part and you got your answer in this temp now what we can do is we can actually consume this so the thing is that uh, i was saying that you can use this temp into 10 because you, you have already calculated half of the answer here so you can just reuse it and calculate the rest of the half but the thing is that the power let's say in this case it was 4 
so we have reduced it down into n divided by 2 which is 4 divided by 2 is actually 2 so we have calculated and x to the power 2 and stored it here and now in this one what we are doing is x to the power 2 into x to the power 2 basically in this part and because we have pre-calculated this in the temp so we are just reusing that and we are not calculating the half of it so that's what we are doing here and now the thing is that the power could be in odd number form so to handle this case what we can do is we can simply check if my n is actually odd or not and to check if the number is odd we can just simply look for the 1th position bit 1 2 4 8 of the power so let's say this is 5 so 5 in the bit form is represented in this so we can do is simply and it with 1 and 1 in the binary form is actually 0 0 1 so you can just and it and if the resultant is actually something other than 0 it means that this resultant is actually odd so n and 1 now we are able to calculate if this is odd and in the case if the power is actually odd so what you can do like previously the power was 4 so what we were doing is we are simply doing temp into temp we were we were returning the temp into temp and that is exactly what we are going to do here but because the power is odd that means that this element is actually getting used just one more time because you have already like let's say if it was 4 you have already calculated the 2 here and you are uh, like you were simply using 2 into 2 which was stored in 10th but uh, in the case of 5 you need to use it just one more time just one more time you need to use that element so that's why we are simply gonna put x here that element one more time and this is how you can calculate this in the logarithmic time now the thing is that there could be some cases let's say where our power is actually zero so anything any number regarding like it could be double integer whatever if any number to the power 0 x to the power 0 will always be going to be equal to 1 so you have to handle that case so if n is equal equal 0 anything to the power that is actually 1 so we're going to simply return 1 and one more thing that let's say if n is equals to 1 so all you need to do is just return that number 2 so n equal equal 1 you're going to return the element x and that's how your power function is going to work but another exceptional case is going to be like let's say your power is actually negative so negative 2 negative 4 so in this case all you need to do is uh, like uh, just pass this just pass the x and n here in this function but like from the main function which you are calling from which you are calling the power function just pass the x and the absolute of n and just calculate the resultant and after you have calculated the resultant just check that if the power is actually negative if your power n is actually less than 0 so just like return your 1 divided by whatever was your resultant of this function and that's how you can actually handle the case of negative powers and remember all of this is actually happening in the double so in this case you are using one just typecast it to your double and if you look at the code here that's how we are exactly doing it so this is the answer that we are storing and doing the absolute of it this is where we are handling the negative case i will stop i'm like casting the one 
and this is how we are handling it right here storing the recursive the half of the recursion answer here and in the case of odd using the x the element one extra time and in the case of uh, even power just doing it temp into temp so basically like let's say if i have five so what i'm doing is passing the element let's say e comma five calling the this function and e comma five divided by two storing the answer here and let, let's say five divided by two is actually two so e comma two divided by two and this is going to be one so i'm going to return that element right here and because i have already calculated the rest of it just simply going to multiply that with the resultant and uh, now temp into temp this is going to return back e into e and now return back here so this actually going to be e into e it is going to store that and again because i have stored it going to use it again here e into e and because this is the odd number of power i'm going to use e, the element one more time and just simply going to return back the result so that is how this is all actually happening and like if i just submit this it is simply working and that's about it for this that's how you can do it in logarithmic time and this is a approach the summary of it uh, of course you have to take care of the cases of the power zero and negative one and in negative case just divide the result with one in the case of zero just anything to the power zero is one so return one and we will use the log in approach to calculate the power so this is the like the obvious one and for that we will store the result for half of the recursion the n by two power recursion and our temporary and use it for the rest of the use it for the rest of it and uh, all we need is to take care of uh, the odd odd number power approach and uh, just use the element one more time for the odd ones and that's it for this the time complexity is going to be log in and the space complexity is going to be log in because in the worst case the tree that is going to become is going to be the equal to the height of it so that's why the space complexity is going to be log n and uh, that's about it for this